guys, I'm here, and today I'm showing you how to take your actual hockey stick, like your ice hockey stick, your ball hockey stick, like an actual big one. So I was going to get all this tape off, and uh, we're back. Alright, so now I've got all the tape off. That's what the blade looks like from the Easton. Now, you grab the tape. And if you don't have one a candle, you can just go out and buy hockey wax. It's like two dollars it's like six dollars on Walmart. And what I do I like to start at the toe. Some of you don't, so I'm just gonna do it the other way that, that I know. So don't worry my scissors. Right, one sec. Scissors and they are ready to cut. Oh, the scissors are bad. These scissors are real Who's bad. Who's all the yelling about, by the way? Penny found a spider. Are you kidding me? Since when? Alright, so then you want to just grab the toe. I want to cut a piece of tape so that you can fold it in the middle. And you can also tape this over if you want to, if you don't want any bumps. But which I am probably going to do. Because I don't like bumps on my stick. <coughs> and I'm going to start from the toe going to the heel. Going to the heel. I'm going to start from the toe going to the heel. From right here. Alright. Let's start off taping. So you might want to tape the toe again when you're done if you're using my technique. Because there will be some bumps. Yeah, so there will be some bumps. So I am only going to take half of the blade. That's where I usually shoot. And pass is on that half of the blade. I will be taping most of this stick over again. Most of it has a lot of bumps. I don't like bumps on my hockey stick. When I tape it, uh, I use black tape because it hides the puck really well. Check the shot on goal. Won't know where the puck is. And then it'll just be easier to score. But if you're like, if you're one of those people who like white tape so other people can see the puck, I suggest just using your own tape. Like, use whatever tape you guys like. You don't have to use the exact tape as me. You don't have to do anything exactly like me. I'm just showing you guys how to tape your big hockey stick. In my other video, I showed you how to tape. Your mini hockey stick. It's called How to Tape Your Own Hockey Stick by Bardon Hockey. And yeah, this tape is not cooperating. Oh my gosh, that had tons of bumps. So then, that is all I'm gonna tape for now. And I'm just gonna cut. Right, let's cut. There we go. Then like that. So I've oh god, that's nasty. 
way too many bumps. So that's the end of my stick. I'm just going to tape right there a little bit. I'm going to tape right up here a little bit more. I'm going to tape the back a little bit more. Smoothly. There are lots of bumps in my tape job. If you try my tape job, if you like this, if you if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Oh yeah, if you have anything on the side, just fold them in or cut them off. I will be cutting them off in this video. And yeah. Those off after I cut this little bit of tape off. There we go. I have a really stiff scissors, so if you guys have better scissors, please subscribe. And if, we, if you do subscribe, please be honest about it and comment down below saying I subscribed, and then say and then say what you're, and then if you can. Check out my channel and, and comment down below on this video. What video of mine is your favorite? I would really like to know that. That'd be a really big help. So then I can make. So then I can try and make a couple more of those videos. So yeah. Oh God. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. So it's been five minutes. No, it's been seven minutes. My video was really bad. My first video unboxing new hockey socks has really been hit. Like, it has 48 views or so. That's just the rain that I hear, if you guys can hear it. Try to make my blade really smooth. So then when I go to shoot, shoot the puck, it'll be good for my shot. If you've ever tried shooting with bumps on your tape job, it's not really fun. You can't, can't get any power on it because you're more focused on the bumps. And then, then you just shoot the... I used to be only just able to flick it, literally. I used to only flick it with my tape stick, and I had too, way too much tape on it. Like, way too much. Ah. There we go. Fold that in. So right now I still need to tape a little bit. And. Ow. 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 It's not even ow. Ow. Oh. It stings. So here's. I will do a video on how to tape your grip. Very soon. I will be using my broken tape stick because I don't, want to, I don't want to tape over this grip. I like this grip better. I'm going to show you two ways how to tape your grip. There we go. Alright, now let's tape the back. It's going to be fun. It's been 9 minutes 21 seconds. So if you guys watched this till the end... Comment down below saying I watched till the end. I will I will reply to as many comments as I hear. If you if you leave your chan if you leave your channel, well either way you're gonna leave a channel if you comment. I will subscribe to you guys if you comment on my vid vids videos. I 
I will reply. I will subscribe to a person who commented. And if you subscribe to me, I swap subscribers. If you don't know what that means, it means someone subscribes to me, I subscribe to them. Basically. Like, yeah. It's already been 10 minutes. Me just doing, doing this. Alright. That's the end of my video, guys. Hopefully you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Now this is my tape job. It's a little bit bumpy. Oh yeah, now we're going to wax it. That's not going to be the end, apparently. I forgot that we need to wax this thing. So take your candle. Rub it on your forehand first. Because if you're a forehand guy, you really like shooting on your forehand. You want to rub it on the side, you want to rub it on the top and the bottom, and then you want to rub it right in the middle to get that good grip on the puck. So that's, if you, if you can see the white on the forehand, there's white on it now. I rubbed it with the candle. Let's rub the back hands. There we go. Here's my tape job. Here's the curve. Here's the curve. Oh, crap. Alright, I'm gonna show you the curve now. It, if you can tell me what curve this is, I'm pretty sure what, what my and my dad think it's a toe curve. Yeah, it's a toe curve. Thanks, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.